how stoked you were to play this role, this like part. to get it. Were you just like over excited? I was pretty stoked. Yeah. I I'd, um I saw him as when I was about seven or eight, and I wanted to be Gavroche, who's the little street urchin. Um, I thought he was a bit of a hero, uh, and I still want to be Gavroche. Uh, so <laughs> ideally, I would have been auditioning for Gavroche, but I think uh, I was a bit old for that. But being part of something that you've loved since you were a kid, it's a bit of a dream. So I was, I, I mean, understated to say that I was elated, <laughs> but it was good. You saw it in London then? I, I saw it, yeah. I saw it in yeah. the West End when I, yeah, I was about seven or eight. It was at the Palace Theatre. Yeah. I remember it being just incredibly evocative. I don't know what it is about this musical, but it seems to hit people of all generations. And um, there's some sort of message to it that, that, that is incredibly universal and sort of cathartic somehow, I think. Yeah, it's lasted so long. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, what do you? What else do you think it is that like people are so excited about that it just keeps going? Well, I think there's a sort of message of of redemption, of the idea of actually of forgiveness that um, that plays that this theme that plays throughout the entire piece. I also think that it speaks to every generation. So whether you are an eight year old boy or a you know sort of thirty year old woman, or mm -hmm. that there there is a character for everyone in it, and that that one can relate to. Also, I think it just has such a mixture of genre. You know, you have this incredibly, you have a love story, you have the, the, the tragedy of Fontaine, Annie Hathaway's character, but then you have the comedic relief of Sacha Baron Cohen and Helena yeah. Bonham Carter. And I feel that, that there's a, that there are colors for everyone in it. Yeah, now there's such a, like, that's such a spiritual kind of theme of like redemption. Like, how mm. did you kind of connect with that? I know that your character doesn't exactly yeah. deal with well, that. Well, I mean, the, the thing that Tom Hooper encouraged us to do was to look back to Victor Hugo's book, and uh, also to f for my character, who is a young guy with a you know extraordinary political belief, and believes in in lighting this flame to, mm -hmm. to f for the dispossessed. He uh, there is a sense that you look around you and what's going on in the world, and whether it's in you know the Wall Street. Um, pr uh, protests or in London in St. Paul's or in the Middle East so that, that felt like there was a lot of contemporary relevance as well so yeah that was helpful for us. Now your character is pulled between love and the politics what do you think in the end kind of is the Which, thing that 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 wins that through. wins yeah well, I, I suppose it's a, a, a story of of changing the world but starting with your neighbor starting with the person next to you and and, and starting with love so I suppose love probably pervades in this yeah. case um yeah how was it um like preparing your voice it was pretty intense i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm, I'm i sang when i was a kid but i haven't had uh, i haven't sung for about 10 15 years so i was put through sort of voice boot camp by, uh -huh. uh, and it, it's amazing how i thought it was just going to be lovely sort of gentle singing exercises but it ended up being exercises that involved holding your tongue whilst doing <laughs> it it's literally about changing the musculature in the back of your mouth which i, I found intriguing but it was totally true um so it was it was like a sort of body workout but just for that part of your body yeah do you have a favorite song i mean because so many of these songs are so great i do and in the movie for me it's um it's the soliloquy which is what hugh jackman sings but just as he comes out and he tears up his piece of parole paper and the parole paper flies up into the air and comes shooting down and it's into the song end of the day and you have Russell on a horse so you have Hugh coming up tearing this piece of paper and then it comes down to Russell on a horse and I, when I saw that in the, my sort of nine-year-old self was giddy with excitement. <laughs> <laughs>